Welcome to Lowkey PD. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access and update some of the settings for a calendar in Google Calendar. So if you go to this main menu over here, all of your calendars should be listed and whatever calendar you want to access the settings for, click on the little snowman menu and then just click on settings and sharing. And that takes you to this page. Now on this page, you can control the settings for this specific calendar. And when you do that, you can change its name. This one happens to be called School. It just It's a calendar where I put work-related dates and events just so I know what's going on at school. Uh, you can add a description so uh, you and anyone who subscribes to the calendar can understand more about what this calendar is for. It generally isn't available uh, or viewable. If you go back to this screen, if I hover over this, it doesn't show me the description or anything like that. Um, but if somebody subscribed to it, uh, maybe they can see what this calendar is for. You can set the time zone. I'm in central time outside of Chicago, so I can set that. And what that does is any events you create and you know set start times and end times for, it will be assumed that those start times and end times are in your time zone. Uh, I'm also a member of a managed domain, so my organization shows up here. I can't change this at all. Uh, you can even export the calendar. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but if you want to learn more about it, you can go to the settings and then click on this link right here. That will open up this page, and you can learn more about exporting calendars. And then right underneath that, you have the option to control auto accepting invitations. And if you click on this, there's three options. The first one is to auto accept invitations that do not conflict. In other words, if someone invites you to an event and that event, the start time and the end time, doesn't conflict with some other event on this calendar, it will automatically accept that invitation and then add it to your calendar. The middle one is, automatically add all invitations to this calendar which will add the event so you can see that it's there and see how it fits with your schedule uh, but you can still open it it hasn't accepted the invitation so you could open it and decline it say maybe accept it yourself whatever uh, but it does show up so you know it's there and how it fits uh, or you could just have it not show invitations typically what will happen here is if somebody has invited you uh, to an event you'll probably get like an email notification uh, that you've been invited to this event. You can accept it typically through the email, but it won't show up on this calendar uh, if you set it to do not show invitations. It won't show up until you accept it. Uh, so there's some different settings that you can access on an individual calendar in Google Calendar.